ladies, gentlemen, scholars, prepare yourselves because this is going to be amazing. You're going to tell your grandkids about this. This is going to be huge. Here are my forks. I know, I know. We don't have to talk about the one on the left, okay? Don't look at that. Look at this one. Oh my gosh, this is a monster. This one, this one's amazing. Wow, it's just so beautiful. Um, we're going to rate all of these 1 out of 10, starting with the worst, going up to the best. I think you can already tell uh, which is the worst and which is the best, but it's mainly the one, the three is in between that we're going to be talking about. So let's go ahead and get her started. Starting with the absolute worst is the plastic fork. Oh my gosh, this thing is garbage. So I have only used it to scramble eggs. That's it. That's the only reason I use it. Now, I will say it does one thing super well, and that is, of course, scramble eggs, because when you're scrambling them in the bowl, if you use a metal fork, then it'll make a really annoying, gross nails on chalkboard sound. But when you use a plastic one, it doesn't. Now, the downsides are everything else. This thing sucks compared to everything else here. So that's why this one's getting only a three out of ten. Here we have the second to last place pick, the pickle jar fork. Look at this thing. It's very classy, very pristine. I like the difference between this and all the other designs of the fork. Maybe not this one. This is just a beast. But yeah, it's only used for getting pickles out of the pickle jar. I have never, ever used it for eating food. Not one time. Just getting pickles out of the pickle jar. But I must say it does do that really well so kudos to this fork for getting pickles out of the pickle jar well and that's why it's getting a five and a half out of ten here we have the most standard fork of all time it's just a fork it's got prongs a handle and it picks up food whenever you need it to now uh there's really not much to say about this fork other than it's a fork and it's just a fork you know it does fork things which, I mean, it is better than the pickle jar fork because it's used more often. And I can still get pickles out of the pickle jar with this thing. Uh, so I will rank it above the pickle jar fork. However, I'm not going to rank it above the two special forks that we've got coming up next. And it's why I'm giving it a five and two thirds out of ten. And the runner up is the dessert fork slash fancier version of the last fork. Now it is about the same as the other one. You see this one is very similar, but there is a slight difference. This one goes for a more simple design on the handle compared to this one, which I actually like this design better, even though this one's a little more complicated. It's a little more compact, slightly smaller, good for dessert sizes. It's got a little more curve to it on the, on the tongs. Okay, maybe it doesn't, but it feels like it does. I promise. I promise you it does, which is why I'm just going to put it slightly above the standard fork. This one's getting a 5.7 out of 10. And now the greatest fork you've ever seen. I am going to be shocked if you've seen a fork better than this. Look at this. It's massive. I know I praised the other one for being more compact than this fork right here. However, this one goes for something different and I love it. It just goes for something huge. Of course, I'm never going to use this practically because it's, you know, giant, but it is good for getting like, I don't know, barbecue and maybe something else, but it's huge. Look at this. This is a trident. It's gigantic. It's got curved tongs. Look at that. Look, same, same exact hilt as the other spear. I mean, fork uh, right here. However, this one is just, it, it screams number one. I cannot put this anything lower than number one. And that's why this thing is eligible for a photo shoot. That's right. We're getting a fork photo shoot starting right now.